Helipod pick six time with MJD. Six games for you presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, starting with New England at Miami. We know Bill Belichick's record against rookie quarterbacks is 21 and 5. I don't think that's going to matter here because Miami's playing good football. Despite coming off that loss to Kansas City, the defense is stacked. And New England not going to be able to run for 217 yards like they did in week one. Give me the Dolphins winning on their home turf. Yeah, I'll take that as well. Just, Miami, first of all, they struggle down in South Beach. They don't play well down in South Florida. Uh, and they're just banged up in all fences. They can't find a rhythm to do anything. So I'll take Miami as well. I'm going Miami 24-17. Chicago at Minnesota, uh, the eighth and ninth seeds right now, right out of the playoff picture. Uh, Vikings had a chance to go up 10-0 on the Bucks, missed field goals, missed extra points. That plagued them. Chicago snapped a six-game uh, losing streak, beating up on the Texans. This is going to come down to the trenches. The Vikings gave up six sacks against Tampa. We talked about this earlier. Khalil Mack starting to heat up. I like the Bears in this one by uh, by six, 20 to 14. Yeah, I'm going to take the Bears as well. I think Mitchell Trubisky gives them a different option when they're running the ball. Uh, David Montgomery had a big day, but they still don't give him enough carries like they should. I feel like they need to get back to running the football a little bit, especially against this Minnesota team who beat them last time they played. Seattle and Washington. I'm gonna let you go first on this. Yeah, one. I'm gonna listen. I, I tell people this all the time. I think travel pays a big, uh, takes a big toll late in the year. Um, traveling from coast to coast in December is always hard to do. Uh, I'm going to go with the home team here, which is a Washington football team. I believe in Alex Smith. He doesn't turn the ball over. And the way that defense plays, it's going to be tough for Russell Wilson and company to go. I don't know who's going to cover Metcalf, but I believe that pass rush will get there with all those first-rounders on it. Well, here's the thing. As good as the defense has been, Russell is not Big Ben. He's not going to be a sitting target in the pocket. And the Seattle defense has been playing better. Last four games allowing just 14.5 points per game. No the, the teams they played haven't been great, but it's still the NFL, and you're allowing two touchdowns a game over four. That's pretty good. Give me the Seahawks, and I think they're going to win this one easily, 34-20. to 20. Mm. Philadelphia, 4-8-1, and one, taking on Arizona, 7-6. and six. Arizona now holding on, clinging to that final playoff spot, that seven seed. The Eagles, Eagles a different team with Hurts at the helm, uh, but the Arizona Cardinals, a very different team when Kyler's running the ball. He ran it 13 times last week. Maybe the shoulder's getting a little better. Not hesitant. I like the Cardinals here. Yeah, I like the Cardinals a lot. Like I said, I just talked to you about traveling Philly. They did a great job beating the Saints in Philly, but now you have to get on a flight, go all the way to Arizona, and your secondary's beat up. Ah, it just seems like it's too much. Who's going to cover D-Hop? And you know what? Kyler yeah. gets the ball out quick in this offense. Yeah, the Eagles secondary is a mash unit right now. I think Kyler's going to torch him. 31-24 cards is uh, is my pick there. Okay, Kansas City at New Orleans. We thought this could be a Super Bowl preview. Um, the Raiders, the only team that's beaten Kansas City this year. Why? Because they were willing to take shots and they connected on those shots. Uh, I don't see New Orleans doing that right now with Taysom Hill at quarterback. He's too inconsistent. I, look, I'm going to say this. I've said it all year long. In order to beat the Chiefs, you have to score 40 points. If you can't score 40 points, you will not beat them. On their worst games, they've scored 32. And I'm not talking about, when I say worst games, is Mahomes throwing interceptions or just the offense is not clicking. They scored 30 points. You have to score 40 to beat them. The Raiders are the only team to do that. Can the Saints do it with Taysom Hill? Most likely not. Yeah, I don't think so either. 33-24, Kansas City might pick there. And finally, Cleveland, 9-4 and four at the Giants, 5-8. and eight. Uh, Giants... Playing better, you know, over the last few games, obviously. Who's the uh, quarterback? It's going to be Daniel Jones. He's going to be. Browns. Go. Okay. That simple? Browns. Yeah, Daniel Jones turns the ball over far too much, and they, they're they not good enough right now offensively to overcome those they're trying turnovers. trying to give too much analysis. Is Daniel Jones a quarterback? Yes. Browns. All right, I'm going Browns, too. 27-14, my pick is the Browns. That's the Helipod with MJD. Pick six presented by DraftKings Sportsbook.